All right, one of my favorite techniques is spider guard to triangle. So I need to break a grip first, otherwise I won't be able to shoot for a triangle. I lift my hips up in the air, so now I'm free to hip escape. I choose this side, so I hip escape to the same side as the bent knee. Now I'm ready to break this grip. It's gonna be very hard to break this hand because my leg is already straight. From here, this foot goes underneath, and as I kick my leg out diagonally that way, I bring his hand to my armpit, like this. That will usually break the grip, it's a really strong move. From here, this exposed a big gap where I can shoot for a triangle. So, sometimes you'll be able to just lift your hips and shoot. It is probably better to put the foot on the hip. Now I can stomp off that and lift my hips up in the air. From here, all I have to do is stomp this across his neck to break his posture. Usually I put my, his hand across. Now I can lock off the triangle. Sometimes it's not fully locked off yet. That's why I can grab my own shin, hip escape a little bit. When I lock off the triangle, the back of my knee has to be here. Not like this, where I can injure my own foot. I need to hip escape enough so that I can put the back of my knee on the shin. When I do this, I bend my knees and I squeeze my knees together to get the tap. Finishing the triangle. So it is tempting to just do this in the triangle, um, just with my knees flared. If you imagine my opponent's head in here, it's still quite a big gap. You might get the tap, but also it might not be tight enough. Instead, what I do is I pinch my knees together. This gap is now very small, and now I bend my knees. So this is Mikhail's head here now, and it's getting, or his neck, it's getting nice and compressed, and I'll get the tap. 